All right, so we are in Eola Springs or Amity Hills of Oregon um, with, I'm very biased, but one of our favorite producers, Nick and I went out and saw her last year. We'd like to get back out there um, with Constant Crush. And this is one of the limited edition wines, uh, addition. To, oh, shoot. So knock my glass over. Um, so this one is a red blend. It's a blend of Trousseau or Bastardo, depending on how you want to say it. Bastardo is really fun to say. Gamay and Pinot Noir. Um, so all fairly light grapes. Um, 12.4%, so pretty low ABV, 2021. Um, I don't know what she did on the extraction, but just based on the color and how gorgeous and light it is, also knowing that it's Gamay and Pinot Noir, I'm just going to guess that it's probably not super extracted. Um, yeah, this color is just wow. So um, on the nose. Oh, man. I just love her stuff. It's interesting. It's like um almost got this like orange thing going on and like a little bit of like under ripeness. Oh, my dog is sad. Please hold. All right. So when you think about it, it seems like it's like I haven't even tried it yet, but I know it's just like a like crunchy fruit, like super crisp cherries. Like you just pulled them out of the fridge and they're just like like they got that little right when you bite into them um it's also got this nice earthiness to it i think um she said it was like parsnips slash beets and i can totally see that here there's just a lot in there Sorry. Mm. more tannin than i would have expected from these, I guess it's probably coming more from the Bastardo. Um, and it is crisp and crunchy, like I said. Almost, I don't think I mentioned oranges before, but it's actually a little bit like orange zesty, which is interesting. I don't normally get that as much with the reds. Um, some strawberries in there, a little bit spicy, um, but just a hint. And almost like <laughs> it might just be my ambiance too. I feel like I'm going to find forest floor and everything and like fallen leaves. Um, but I do actually think this is this one that has that. So as far as pairings go, um, I like it for stuff that you want to be um, eating in the winter and the fall, like your turkeys and your hams. If you're having it around holidays would be perfect. Um, you could do it with like sausages stuff if you're doing like a barbecue honestly with anything like this thing is just really tasty duck you could put it with um like pizza <laughs> it's it's a really really food friendly wine so enjoy honestly by itself it's great too